Hey, what's up? This is James Sony from pixelandgrain.in. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can animate with the timing and spacing, which is one of the most important principle. Right? I will show you some time technique to get better control over this animation. All right, so let's start. That is, I'll just animate. This ball is going up and comes down. Okay, it's going up and down, up and down. It will cover the distance from here to here so fast because there will be some nice energy while you are throwing the ball. But once its gravity will affect this ball, this will gradually decrease the speed toward up. Okay, and from here to here, this will take longer time to travel this much area. You can see here it is taking same same speed. This value just ignore the value that is just only for the example. Okay, so it will increase every one unit on the every frame, for example, okay, till end. And same it will fall down with the same increment value, constant value. Okay. Here somewhere around value is almost like you know maybe 13 or 12. Alright, and at the 12 frame. The value is 14. I mean here. That is 14. So from the 8 frame to 12 frame. Here. It is traveling just only hardly 2 unit. It's going up faster and coming down. But in that. You know at the 12 frame it is hanging on in the air. For uh, you know time being. For a while yes. right now you can see that each and every sphere gradually decrease the distance because it is decreased the speed and here it is decreased I and mean, increase the distance because of increase the speed now but as you can see let me turn off this grid and now you can see this animations doesn't look like you know this brick is falling down this looks like funny like you know the thermocol is just floating around the air floating into the air and you know the passing through the block intersecting and passing through the block this is not acceptable yes of course not okay select this brick and just hit f to frame it and just move a little bit this side so you can see this properly okay now go to the rotation z Select that and the same thing we will this you know decrease the speed of the rotation initially. So let me check this again. Yes. Alright, so in uh so in the last example I'll show you uh, some pendulum animations okay so how you can animate the pendulum of the tip tip of this cylinder so we can rotate from here right now just double click on this range bar so you will get to the entire full 48 frames time length we need to tweak like that curl so we'll get more stay over here and fast move here more stay here fast move here and more stay here Okay, so then we will get, you know, we will get some nice animation. So for that, what you need to do? Select this curve, go to the curve, and weighted tangents. Okay, so and then select this curve if you want, and go to this the free weighted, I mean free tangent weight. Okay, now how you can modify the ones? select this curve and shift select this handle control shift select this handle and control shift select this handle okay now holding down the shift key i mean press w and hold down the shift key only shift okay move this to toward i mean it's in vertical so horizontally so you'll get a nice stretch and you'll get same value st i'm stretching value for all three handles okay so now you can see this is nice curve here here is slow here is slow here is slow but here is go faster 
So now let's check it out this animation here. Okay. So now you can see this in between, it goes faster. It's going so fast in between. Right? So this is pretty nice technique to do, you know, all the timing and spacing stuff with the curves, modifying curves instead of, you know, the, you know, adding some key frames and all the stuff. Okay. All right. So this is JM Sony from Pixel and Grain Dot. And I hope you enjoy this tutorial and you will learn a lot with this. If you don't know something about the graph editor, all right, we will come soon with the next tutorial. Till then, bye bye.